So we're driving through the Rohingya refugee camps in Bangladesh outside of Cox's Bazar. Since August, 600,000 refugees have been resettled here from Myanmar. One of the things that really strikes me being here as a contrast to many other places in the world is watching the fathers. The father is, is curled up in the bed, keeping the child warm, cradling them at night, wrapping them in blankets, doing all the things that we usually attribute to mothers. They care very deeply, and I don't know if that's because they've also been hurt very deeply, but it does make them beautiful how strongly and powerfully they care and are affectionate for each other. Hey. Mohammed was the first Rohingya man that I met and was able to speak to. We've walked all over the camp together over the last two months, and we've got to know each other really well. He's a man that I trust. Mohammed ran early in November with his brother and his brother's family. They showed some the way, and I lost my elder brother. I, I saw also my own eye. So I decided, this is my child. So you must take care of him, because he has his fatherless child. We have lo we, I love him, owns my child as my own child. Today he is the right hand man for everything going on in the camp. The medical staff have questions, they go to Mohammed. The construction team have questions or requests, they go to Mohammed. The supply team need to talk to vendors, they go to Mohammed. He's 22 years old and now he's looking after a uh, diphtheria treatment center serving a population of about 650,000 people. So I actually I'm very thankful to, uh, on the Samaritan Pass because they are taking care of us, especially isolation of the diphtheria. Samaritan is my life because Samaritan gave me a life. I'm actually very thankful for you.